He's also the one that wanted me to put a, to bond my neutral in ground, which I went ahead and did also. I don't know if he's the one that said something about grounding this. That has a, its own ground. We'll go ahead and set up a tripod real quick here. Hopefully it don't take me too long. I don't know how to edit the video or I just cut it. I just started doing this last month and I tried editing a video or two. Anyways, that's something I'll have to work on if I'm gonna keep doing this. So sorry about the wobbly, wobbly camera or whatnot, but Set it where we should be able to get everything on camera. You'll be able to hear the beep. I'm going to put this on my ground. I don't know how I can hold that. Maybe we'll just go like this. And now you can't see it. Basically, I'm just letting you know that my metal bars there are grounded. And my cases for my grow watts are also grounded. Okay. I just wanted to let you guys know that. So that they they are all the cases are grounded. And if somebody out there has any insight as to whether I should actually ground the interior of my grow watts because I did not do that but the cases are grounded this bar is grounded so if I wanted to run a, a ground wire I could run it I could run it from this bar inside I just and if I should do that and somebody knows let me know I mean it wouldn't take that long to hook up three ground wires since I do have the bars grounded I did I did put a ground in up here also so if somebody knows let me know I mean I, I want I want this to work the best it can so anyone that spots any mistakes you're more than welcome to comment and let me know what I should do and I'll look into it and to the guy that did comment about some of these things I appreciate it I think my system is better since you did comment and my whole goal is to have the best solar system I can you know for the money and these dang batteries cost more than the whole rest of my system I got $10,500 into the, ba the batteries in this rack. So, that costs more than my solar panels and my mounting for my solar panels outside. I have less than that in that part outside. So, 
and I'm, I'm out here to learn and grow, you know. The more knowledge I get before I go to the Philippines and do a solar panel setup in the Philippines, the better it will be. <laughs> I tried setting up the communication between the... Uh, uh, this, and this is a mistake I made, you know, you know, I'm just putting this out here, that way somebody else don't do that. This is an Ethernet hub. This is not an RS-485 hub. I did order that RS-485 hub from GrowWatt, but this is not gonna work. Okay. So, make sure you get an RS-485 hub and the wires. These wires are probably not gonna work. That's just another thing I spent money on that will not work. So, yes make sure you get the right component that way i can have my batteries talk to my inverters and i'm gonna get my i'm gonna get my grow watt dongle i don't have that working i i've been kind of trying to mess with this and get it working that way i can view everything on my cell phone and on my computer i i Shoot, I can control my air conditioning and heating in the house from my cell phone. You know, for an older home, I do have some uh, pretty cool features on my phone. So, anyways. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Now here's, now some, I, I don't know how well you can see that. All of these are turned off. The ones with the lower temperatures have the doors shut. Those have the doors shut. My uh, living room, I have a gas furnace in there, or a gas fireplace insert in there and uh, you know my bedroom door is open and it's only a two uh, degree drop I'm not that's a kids room that room is kind of that's gun reloading and stuff like that that's why it says dad's room that's got the gun reloading and other stuff and the spare bedroom has a bed sitting in it waiting for uh, the guys gonna be coming to do uh, some work around my home this spring. So, yep, I, I figured there's no reason to drain the batteries on my system to heat rooms that aren't being used and that's one of the nice parts about the mini split. Plus, I have nighttime settings and daytime settings, so I put it on, you know, it, it'll swap over to nighttime, and then it'll be 67 to 73 degrees at night, so it warms up the rooms when people are actually in them. That's, uh, I like my stuff to operate without me going in there and changing thermostats or something like that. That is one of the cool features of that Mr. Cool mini splits. But this is actually a video on my batteries and my solar, you know. So we'll uh, not talk about the mini splits. Maybe I'll do a video just for that sometime. But. I really like the improvements that we got done. Hopefully that you guys can uh, do something of your own that works. And uh, please subscribe and like the video. And I especially like comments. If you guys see anything that you think I should do, 
please comment. I appreciate it and hopefully I can improve my system with your guys' comments. So, until next time, thank you. Bye.